30 minutes of walking and stretching on a treadmill second series press your start button you can go on either side of the treadmill makes it easier for the belt to start I'm going to put my speed up to two miles an hour we're going to do a five minute warm-up and in the five minutes we're going to do two minutes walking forward one minute walking backward one minute walking sideways and then one minute of what I call a crossover uh, the exact same warm-up we did in the first series uh, but it's a great warm-up and it'll get yourself ready for uh, doing the different walks um, so 45 seconds and just have a nice comfortable walk and uh, keeping your shoulders relaxed keeping your spine straight eyes are forward try not to I see some people it's like they're leaning forward um, when they're walking so just try and stay upright uh, nice and tall after the five minutes uh, we're gonna, I'm going to stop and I suggest you stop as well and we'll do a probably less than a minute of stretches for the knees to warm up all the knee ligaments on all four sides of your knee coming up to a minute and a half now what we're going to do today um, different than the first series is I want to use uh, this rope because I find it's great tool to have to do stretches 150 so here I have one it's five ropes and I have different white and blue colors here I have one it's three ropes just red coming up to two minutes and we're gonna go backwards so slow it down if you want just for the warm-up especially if you're still new to walking backwards here is one I made with yarn a wide kind of yarn um, using three strands for each of the five so there's actually 15 pieces of yarn that I used to make this one rope um, I have a video that I made on my YouTube channel called how to make a fitness rope doesn't take very long you can uh, make one for yourself if you have rope already at your house uh, I went to a dollar store and I bought 50 feet of rope for I think it was three dollars 250 um, two minutes and 50 seconds it was about three dollars and I made a rope so you can choose uh, to make yourself one okay now we're gonna go sideways see how I'm moving sorry I just have to adjust the wires a bit short so my right leg is leading and my left leg catches up I'm gonna slow it down a little bit I'd like a warm-up and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds and then we'll switch sides now instead of using one of those ropes one of these ropes right here another option is anything that's long enough and the limiting factor is going to be the first stretch that we do because you need to be able to bring your arms down comfortably and smoothly and, and you need something that's wide enough if you're too close it'll be a bit awkward and you won't get the stretch the relaxing stretch that we want four minutes now the crossover see so my right leg is leading my left leg alternates goes in front of my right leg and then behind so here's behind and in front trying to protect the knee of the lead leg by pivoting on the ball of the foot don't leave the foot flat because the grinding motion there's 30 seconds switch the grinding motion could damage your knee so come up to the ball of the foot as you pivot just to protect that knee um, so about the rope I don't know if I mentioned you can use a tie 
You can use a hose, a piece of a hose. You can use a belt or you can use a towel. So lots of different options. There's our five minutes. Press the pause, it'll stop. Okay, now we'll do about a minute of stretching for the knee. The first one I showed you in the first series, so your hands are just above your knees. And let's just do five circles in one direction. When you're done the five, here's four and five and just give a very gentle push to straighten those knees and then we'll do five circles in the other direction here's four and again gently pushing those legs straight just to get the back knee ligaments holding it for a few seconds Okay, now a new one that I didn't show you with the first series. So straddle your feet and rotate your lead leg, your right, in this case it's my right foot. Rotate it so that it's pointing in that direction. And then just bend that right knee. And same thing, just doing circles. Let's do five circles in each direction. Four, good, and now switching direction, doing five circles. And with this one, you're also getting a little bit of the hip and a little bit of the leg muscles included with these knee rotations. I think this is four and five. Okay, so now we'll switch. You can switch like this, but I'll switch here. So feet straddled, now my left foot po points this way and I bend that left knee and I start with the circles. Three. Here's five. Okay, and now five circles, five rotations in the other direction. Three. And then we're going to start the treadmill again. Continue up to 30 minutes on the treadmill. We've done five already. Five minutes. Okay, start. And then I'm going to move the speed up with this machine. It reads two miles an hour. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but it doesn't matter. Whatever's comfortable for you. We're just going to walk for a minute to uh, get used to walking again. And then we're going to start with some stretches, alternating 30 seconds of stretching, 30 seconds of just walking. Because the stretches that we're going to do could impact, uh, especially if this is your first time. So it's important to also have what I call a rest phase. So before we start, we have 15 seconds. You need to, with your rope, find the right width that you can come down. Uh, arms come down until they're parallel to the ground. So find the right width for you. There's our minute. Here we go. First stretch. We're just going to walk here for 30 seconds. Feeling a nice stretch in the chest, in the shoulders and even in the biceps and sometimes I feel it also all the way down into the wrists and try and stay as relaxed as you can with your breathing here's our 30 seconds okay and just release on that rope and we're going to do the same thing walking backwards you can drape your rope or towel whatever you have or you can hold on to it we're just walking until we hit the minute mark. Got four channels, four TVs right here. Different stuff on them. There's our two minutes. Okay, now the same thing. This one walking backwards. Okay, it's almost 
too fast, but uh, it's good enough. I'll just stay here with it. And breathing relaxed deep into the belly. Okay, is that 30 seconds? Almost. There we go. So there's our 30 seconds and I'm going to suggest we don't do the stretching with the sideways walk. Uh, we'll do the same two sideways walks we did during the warm-up but for me the sideways walking it's just not as relaxing to do stretching so we'll just do the movement and then we'll get back to the stretching once we go back to forwards and backwards there's our minute yeah good okay now sideways 30 seconds on each side like we did with the warm-up but now it's a little bit faster so my heart rate is going to increase which is the goal of cardiovascular exercise to train the heart and the lungs so that they're stronger and better capable for life there's 30 switch sides and you might notice i am not wearing training shoes i'm in socks um, these are a special kind of sock they have the, um, the sticky pad at the bottom of it so it gives me a bit of extra grip but the main reason I have these socks is because I have my regular socks underneath there's four minutes okay now the crossover I have my regular socks underneath I put these socks on top the orange ones to protect those socks underneath because these belts aren't clean because people use their shoes on them obviously so um, why do I have just my feet because I think it's important to train the, sh the feet without having the shoe the shoe is great there's 30 switch sides the shoes are great but they provide support and I think it's good for the foot to have to develop the ligaments and the muscles without having the shoe to support so you can consider once or twice a week maybe walking on the treadmill there's five minutes okay grab your rope again stretch number two you have to go fairly close you're just gonna have your arms above your head walking right here for 30 seconds good coming up to 30 and relax now without the shoe I believe most fitness clubs will allow it uh, usually when you sign up to be a member you sign a disclosure uh, that protects the fitness club in case you get injured and also many most fitness clubs will have somewhere on one of their walls it says you have to have proper fitness attire so basically you are going barefoot at your own risk there's the minute let's do the one up here for 30 seconds walking backwards uh, I have never been told to stop exercising in my feet um, so I say suggest you try it if one of the trainers or management staff comes to ask you to put your shoes on there's 30 seconds arms down then you have to put your shoes on it's about liability and about protection for the members of the fitness club there is a smaller small risk that I'll injure my feet because I don't have the protection of the shoe uh, so yeah once or twice a week I'll walk without my trainers on there's our minute back to sideways for 30 seconds on each side
and always relax with your breathing. I have repeated that a few times and I will probably say it a few more times during the 30 minutes. Just to remind you, because I believe breath, proper breathing is number one priority for overall wellness. The better you breathe, the better your body is because you are receiving more oxygen. You're mindful of your breathing. Uh, so it's important. Okay, five more seconds. I can really feel the side muscles working. Okay, now the crossover. Again, remembering when you transfer, be gentle on this lead knee. So I'm coming up onto the ball of my foot, onto my toes almost, when I do the transfer to backwards. So please watch what you're doing with your lead foot so that you're protecting. 30 seconds and switch. And I mentioned in the first series that a lot of this stuff we're doing, you can do it as a run. Okay, you can make the speed much faster and do forwards, backwards. Okay, here we are at the minute. Grab your rope. And now, arms forward. So, palms facing each other. And you are pushing outwards on the rope, feeling a separation uh, from the spine to the shoulder blade. So between the shoulder blades, those muscles are getting stretched with this position. Okay, there's 30 seconds and relax. Walking nice and tall. Now I've designed 30 minutes, this time I do have a list of stuff that I want to do. But once you know all this stuff, all these different movements, you don't need to follow any list. Okay, going backwards for the 30 seconds. So arms are in front, palms face each other. I am pushing against the rope to feel a stretch. Uh, between my shoulder blades. So yes, uh, sorry, as I was saying, once you learn all these movements, uh, I suggest you go on your own time. Don't bother with the 30 seconds, or don't be so strict about it. There we go, 30 seconds. Feel, feel the movement. Feel what's best for you in that specific moment that you're doing one of these specific exercises. This is a guideline, helps me also to guide how, what, and when I'm going to teach you. Coming up to three, two, one. Let's start now with the left leg leading. So we'll do 30 seconds starting with the left leg leading and then 30 seconds with the right leg leading and that'll bring us up to 17 minutes for me it's much more enjoyable doing these kinds of exercises as opposed to just the walking forward switch and um, yeah, I believe you get more benefit this half hour, if I were just walking forward, I believe the muscles, including the heart and the lungs, would not get as much of a workout as I am getting now, doing all these different movements, incorporating the upper body. Coming up and switch. So now we're doing the crossover for 30 seconds with the left leg leading. I am a little bit out of breath, but that's also 
because I can't truly stay focused on my breathing during this session because speaking uh, takes a lot of concentration. So I am using the concentration mainly for speaking. There's 30 seconds and switch. Ten more seconds and we'll be at 18 minutes. Okay, we're going to do one more stretch. Here we go. Okay, grab your rope. Again, hands close together, palms face each other. And this one uh, I call the half moon. It's a position I learned from yoga. Getting a nice stretch in the ribs on the left side and the spine is moving sideways, which is great. Let's hold it for 30 seconds on each side. And then we will do this backwards. And coming the other side now for 30 seconds. Great stretch for also between the ribs. Also gives the organs a little bit of a massage. Okay, now just relax for two seconds. And now we do the same thing walking backwards. Just a very gentle curve. Can't go too exaggerated because we are walking also. If you're standing still as I would do with the original yoga pose, I could go a little bit deeper, but I'll just keep it about 60%, 70%. Okay, there's 30 seconds and the other side. And breathing gentle, deep, relaxed as much as possible down deep into the belly diaphragmatic breathing using the diaphragm and not just the upper lungs okay there we go now back to forward let's just do one minute of walking forwards doing nothing else but walking forwards A little bit distracted by the TV, Ford versus Ferrari, Petro Canada's coast to coast e-electric highway, CNN tonight, there's a movie with one of the Wahlberg brothers. Okay, so 15 more seconds of just walking forward, then we're going to do a twist. I have here 30 seconds on each side. So try and keep the hips pointing forward. You're going to rotate at the shoulders. And I always like to keep looking forwards because if I look backwards, I'll get dizzy. So just looking forwards, hips are forward, but the shoulders are rotated. And with any twist, you also get to massage the internal organs which helps to keep them healthier, it helps to keep them more fresh. There's 30 seconds and switch. Twisting, um, massaging, almost like you imagine a sponge. The organs inside are being squeezed and refreshed, especially if you bring the breath down deep into your belly. Okay, switching pages, three, two, one, okay. I, let's walk backwards, just an easy backwards walk for the minute. And then uh, I'm going to introduce something new. 
uh, which I call a skip. The first time I saw it, I was watching the Italian soccer team during a training or warm-up, I don't remember, and they were doing this now, like a skip. So I adapted it uh, to, to be able to do it onto a treadmill. And so we're going to skip forwards and backwards. And then that'll bring us really close to the 30 minutes. So we're at 18 plus 5 from the warm-up, that's 23 minutes. Okay, so back to forward, here we go. And the skip. So see what I'm doing? It's like a little hop. Right foot comes forward, and then left foot goes to where the right foot is. And you can make it a little bit more challenging. So I'm doing one skip at a time for the first 30 seconds. And then let's do two skips, one, two, on each side. Okay. Feel also the calves a lot more when you do this. We'll do this for 30 seconds. And we'll try it backwards. There we go. Okay, the first is the one skip. Lost my balance there for a second. You can use these handrails to catch yourself. So, same as the forward skip. The, I mean, it's really hard to explain what I'm doing. Hopefully, just seeing it is enough. There's 30 seconds. Now we're doing two. Two skips each side. And then we'll do a variety. Uh, changing the numbers. Uh, four on each side. and a combination coming up here we go so four three four two three four now do two 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 and then four two three four two 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 three four two two two, three, four, and let's just do 30 seconds of walking. So that'll bring us up to 21, plus the five is 26. Uh, great, so we'll have four minutes, or three minutes, because we're gonna do one minute backwards. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep track myself. I, I went away from this list, so I'm not sure the timing. So now we're going to do, excuse me, we're going to do 30 seconds backwards, four skips, each side. Now four, two, two, and four. Two, two, four. Two, two, four. Two, two, and a little bit different. Two, three, four, do two, then one, two, one, sorry, two, and then four. So two, one, one, two, and four. Just to give you an idea of how you can make it different. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's just walk and forward. Now an easy gentle walk for a minute. Uh, will bring us to 23 plus 5, 28. Two more minutes. 
Um, so I'm going to show you with the last two minutes, once we're done this minute, that'll bring us up to 28 minutes. Um, there's two things I want to show you, actually three things. What's the best thing to do for this last two minutes? Okay, we'll do something that I've never seen anyone else do and it might not, I don't know if everyone can do it because I have never seen anyone do it. What we're going to do is take two steps and then one step, here we go, two, one. So two steps and then stop. Two steps, stop. Two steps, stop. Mm, the, what I imagine is the brain gets an extra connection because it's really strange. It's a very strange sensation to be moving and then not moving. Move on a belt, not move. Okay, so now let's try four steps and then stop. 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 Maybe you like it. Maybe you won't. I like it. Okay, now we're at 24 minutes. Okay, and let's just walk for the last minute to bring us up to 30 minutes. And then that'll be the 30 minutes that I wanted to do, which was my goal. Uh, but I still want to show you three things. So I don't want to count it in the 30 minutes. We'll do another 30 seconds and that'll be the 30 minutes, okay? Just so you have a guideline as well. And then I'll show you these three things uh, as an added bonus after the 30 minutes. Checking my heart rate, definitely above resting. 10 seconds left and we've reached 30 